Hello, readers. I hope you enjoyed reading *The Whispering Town*. Today, we are going to continue with our second historical fiction lesson. Our teaching point is: readers monitor for signs by first we identify the characters, and two, as we read, we keep track of important information using the five W's: who, what, where, when, and why. Our academic vocabulary is monitor for sense, plot or storyline, and characters. Our content vocabulary are Holocaust, concentration camp, Nazi, and prisoner. What are we trying to achieve today? Today we're going to continue reading historical fiction books. We will monitor for sense by answering the five W's. I want to remind you that historical fiction is a fictional story that takes place in the past in a real time period. Often the setting is real, but the characters are made up. So let's move on to our modeling for today. So remember that I'm going to keep track of what I'm reading. I'm going to monitor for sense by answering the five W's. So I just want to show you guys a part of Rose Blanche. Okay, and here she is by the concentration camp, and we see that she's handing over some bread to these children. So I'm just going to read over this page to you. By now she knew the road by heart. There were more children by the wooden houses, and they were also getting thinner behind the barbed wire fence. Some of them had a star pin on their shirts. It was bright yellow. Okay, so who are the people? In on this page, so I know it's Rose Blanche, and I know it's the children that are in the concentration camp as prisoners, and I know this because the text is telling us that they are wearing these、um, stars to show that they're Jewish, and they're wearing,、uh, they're all wearing the same clothing. It seems like a uniform they're forced to wear. So what? Well, we see Rose Blanche is handing them over some bread. When? Well, this is taking place after she sees that the young boy was taken in the back of a truck. Where this is happening in the concentration camp behind the barbed wire fence, and why? I think that's a very important question. Why is Rose Blanche risking her life to bring these children some bread? And she has been doing this more than once. She has been taking food from her home and bringing it over to them. It could be that Rose Blanche feels sorry for these children. She feels connected to them because they all seem to be pretty much her same, the same age as she is. So she's almost feeling very connected to them. Okay, and I want us, I want to remind you guys of the last page of our book here. Well, second to last page. Rose Blanche's mother waited a long time for her little girl. The The crocuses finally sprang up from the ground. The river swelled and overflowed its banks. Trees were green and full of birds. So from these image, from this image, we can see that it's it's the barbed wire,、uh, same barbed wire as we see up here, and it seems like everything has changed. And her mother is waiting for her for a long time, which makes us think, and we can make the claim that、um, Rose Blanche was killed by the soldiers. And it goes back to that why, she risked her life because she really cared about these children. She wanted to make a change. So we monitor for sense by keeping up with the five W's. And then I just showed you a little bit of stepping up the rigor, which is connecting one part of the text to another. Now it's your turn to try. Remember that our teaching point is that we monitor for sense by identifying the characters and keeping track of the five W's. So I'm just gonna display a page from the Whispering Town. After breakfast, I walk to the library. We have new friends. I whispered to the librarian. Be careful, she whispered back, handing me extra books. On the way home, I saw Nazi soldiers knock on our neighbor's door. Mama, Papa, soldiers next door. I said when I came in the house. Mama tapped three times on the cellar door. After the soldiers left, Papa looked up at the cloudy sky. No moon again tonight, he said. Maybe the clouds will clear tomorrow. So now that we read this part over again, I want you to practice stopping 
you can hit pause. You're gonna stop and think: who, what, when, where, and why. Give it a try. So from this page, we know that it is a net that is in the scene with her mother. What we know that a net is warning her mother and her parents that she sees the Nazi soldiers coming. When this is taking place right after the family has been helping Danish Jews hide in their cellar. Where we know this is a small town. And why? It seems like everyone in this town feels that it's their right to help these Danish Jews escape from the Nazi soldiers. So let's continue. Remember that we monitor for sins by identifying characters and keeping track of the five W's. Today you are going to continue reading historical fiction books. You're going to monitor for sins by answering the five W's. You're going to go on Epic or Mayan and begin reading a new historical fiction text. As you read, you're going to keep track of the five W's. Stop and jot in your notebook about the five W's. In our case, we're going to stop and jot on a Google Doc. If you feel up for it, you can try the stepping up the rigor by connecting parts to parts. You can write a parts to whole stop and jot. I'm going to show you now how you can go on Epic and find historical fiction books. I just went on Epic and I typed in historical fiction. I hit search and I hit books. And then it gave us all these books. Some of these like up here are not historical fiction, but if you scroll down, you will find plenty of historical fiction books. Take a look, look at the level, um, read the little blurb by clicking on it and not just, you don't click on it, you just like put the clicker on top of it, the cursor, and it'll give you a little blurb of what the text will be about. So you can bookshop and start reading one of these historical fiction books. Remember to practice keeping track of the plot and monitoring for sense by using the five W's. Good luck, guys.